Why is Harold the King so important to you? After all, he lost at Hastings, didn't he? He did lose. He shouldn't have done. It was a matter of bad luck. Um, had it rained on the day, had we had more daylight. It was the, this battle was one of those unique ones for the period. It lasted all day. We know it started at around just after 9am uh, and it finished because it got dark. Um, Harold was a very capable commander but also bearing in mind he'd fought another battle a few weeks beforehand up in Yorkshire. He'd marched all the way up north, marched all the way back down again. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's some feat. Okay, he it lost. Doesn't... Yeah. It's, um, he shouldn't have done. He shouldn't have he lost. He really should not have lost. Uh, perhaps I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> so it got dark and the battle ended. So then did the person with the most uh, soldiers standing, did they win? It was actually because Harold had been killed. Oh, he died. He had been killed. Um, everything really did fall apart after that. But it was Anglo-Saxon culture that uh, uh, men would keep on fighting mm. um, until the last man, basically. You know, um, Harold was hacked to death on that battlefield and thousands of men were killed with him mm. and it was just really it was a case of William was the one left standing um, unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like William I really do, do not like no. William no. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't I loathe the man <laughs> interestingly actually while I was writing Harold uh, originally mm. my idea was that I was going to write the novel so that the reader would make up their own mind of who deserved to win at the end yeah I got to the second scene with William and I was already beginning to not like him. Yeah. By the time I got to the third scene, I, I scrapped the whole idea because I thought, I, I can't do this. I just do not like this man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit biased towards yeah. Harold. Then, and, but the more and more, I, the more I wrote, the more I, I just loaded it. And as the years have gone, um, I, I really just absolutely detest the man. Was he evil? Did you do He was Well, he was called William the Bastard. Uh, because he was illegitimate, but mm -hmm. I tend to think it was probably, you know, the other <laughs> <laughs> use of the word. Um, I suppose he wasn't really evil for his time. He was ruthless, uh, as all leaders had to be. Um, but let's uh, give you an example. He was fighting a um, battle in um, Normandy, Alençon, and he was the illegitimate son of a tanner's daughter. So during this battle, they mocked him during the fight by hanging skins along the battlements. He won the battle and he chose, I think it was six men at random, and had them skinned alive. Oh, nice. That's the sort of man he was. <laughs> okay. Yes. And was Harold, Harold was good then, is that why you Well, I, I have to be honest, you, you know, I mean, he probably wasn't wasn't a saint but we, we there are no records of him committing atrocities mm -hmm. like that the other thing I go on the Harold's men loved him uh, they were willing to to fight to the death for him um, they, they you know they marked up to York and back William's men didn't have a choice they had to fight with him mm -hmm. uh, and I tend to put yeah that I think is the difference yeah Harold was very much loved yeah